Thank you for tuning in to Snake Guy Larry's Fireworks and Channel. We have a uh, special guest today, my friend Chris, Tristan Kraus. That is Tristan Kraus. Oh, he is a Marine who is stationed in Japan right now. He is home on leave for some family business. And he'll be leaving the day after uh, the meet that I have coming up. So he decided to come in and uh, decompress. Uh, do a little bit of mock meet action with me. And that was a pleasure to have some, uh, some lifting company. Because our friend uh, uh, Big Jay Weiss, um, he is celebrating Rosh Hashanah. And so he had an excuse. So he thinks to not be part of this training session. So I will kick his teeth in later for that. So Tristan's going to uh, follow my lead and do a and do a uh, squat bench and deadlift session as he sees fit. He is an incredibly fit individual. Um, and it was uh, a lot of fun to, to have a training partner today because he's a he's one of my best friends and uh, it's, a, it's really nice to, to, uh, to be hanging out with him. So, um, today the, uh, the programming went extremely well. I felt extremely confident taking this 360, uh, quickly down to depth as we see for all three. That was great. Now he's going to work with 235 pounds, which is 77% of his one rep max, which is 305, which he set a long time ago. So, uh, just goes to show that when you're natural and you train hard, you can leave, um, you can leave the weights alone because he's been doing calisthenics uh, workouts for the last year and a half and he hasn't even touched a barbell like this. So he's, uh, he's an interesting person to watch because he moved 77 and about 82% of his one rep max today like he'd never missed a day in the gym, which was really cool to see because it just goes to show that muscle memory is a real thing and if you get yourself uh, physically fit cardiovascularly that is before you begin a weight training uh, regimen that your weight training regimen will be well protected by doing the cardio first I don't do a lick of hard cardio right now but yet all the cardio that I did in the, in the five to six months leading up to starting back into party and uh, power lifting is carrying over right now I'm not winded I'm not breathless I feel uh, 100% awesome so there's you know really um, before you start lifting weights or while you start lifting weights if you if you're gonna be new to it you've got to put that time in on that hard cardio I'm talking about that hard cardio those of you who don't know what I'm talking about have been watching this channel you can go back a few months uh, about four or five months to the beginning of last summer, not this summer, but last summer, um, I think so, yeah, uh, where I was going to the park nearly uh, five times a week, and I was running sprints in the cold and the snow, and then in the in the uh, in the rain, and then in the uh, blazing hot sun. I was out there sprinting, 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 getting that, uh, getting those lungs fit. Getting those, getting that, uh, uh, those blood vessels ready to work hard, and I tell you, I didn't even break a sweat today. Uh, it was awesome. Everything just felt firing on all cylinders. Not a doggone complaint in the in the house. Uh, feeling super strong. Got about 15 pounds to drop. That that's not going to affect my lifts at all because I'm going to be dropping them quite slowly going into the meet. So it will be. Um, It'll be a great day in the gym on that meet day, which is 14 days from now. Actually, 13 days from now. So, um, all that being said, we are going to start talking about this bench press. And Tristan, he used to have a, uh, he had a 325 bencher. I think that's what he said. Not quite sure. I wish I could remember. Um, but he had... I think he had a 315 bench uh, back when he was maybe about a year and a half ago when he was when he was doing a lot of lifting and he wants that back. So, um, plan today for him was to just start warming up 
uh, his uh, his bench muscles for high volume amount of work. So we have him do an AMRAP here. That means as many rap as many reps as possible in AMRAP. That's a technical powerlifting term. He gets well. I'll let him count them out because I don't want to give him a spoiler alert. But this round he gets the most. The next round he doesn't get as many. <laughs> but um, he was cranking out the groceries here. Yeah, he was pumping out them groceries, baby. He was building that bench back up and uh, uh, exhausting himself. He wanted to work up to a, to a triple with 225. I said, why not just do a bunch of work on the way up to that 225 and then like three singles with 225? That way you kind of get more bang for your buck. And you don't have to go to 225 and then drop down, do back down sets and unload and deload the bar and all that crap. Just make a slow climb, do lots of reps on the way up there, and that will build you. Uh, and that will build you some good muscle. And then your muscles will be taxed, and you will learn how to strain uh, when you get to uh, when you get to the to the number in question. So here's round two, and here he gets. Uh, I think he got. I'm not sure how many he got, and I lost count. You guys can count. I'm going to let him count, so we just won't know unless you guys want to uh, uh, go back and count them all, but he got them all. He did every single one of them today. <laughs> With 135, he picked them all up. Yep, he got as many as he could get. So that brings me to my 225 for four, or for two sets of four, which is coming up here. And um, these felt really, really good. They moved really, really fast, which is always a nice thing. I had to move my grip in just a little bit more um, so I could feel tighter. That's, you know, one day that dog on uh, that press off the chest is going to feel just right. It just doesn't feel right right now. It just doesn't. Uh, I don't like it, but, you know, bench is, uh, for some people, it's just a damn tricky lift. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tricky movement, man. And so uh, I'm working on it. You know, I'm working on it. Leave me alone. Anyway. <clears throat> so I have him say I uh, do crank out five or six with the, uh, with the 185 on the barbell here. No grinders. Just, uh, you know, once he, uh, once he gets that one last questionable one, we rack it. There we go. Rack it. There it is. Hit it one more time. This time, no pauses. Just get as many as you can. I mean, you get the same amount, maybe another one. No pausing. Just blast it right off your chest. There you go. As you see, he's got a uh, he's got he's got to work on that on that left side. Yeah, see that left side. His right side is much much stronger than the left. But uh, you know, it's a little frustrating. I know, but that's the bench game. That's the lifting game. We're always finding those. Uh, we're always finding those. Those one side of our body is stronger than the other, so the way you you make up for it is uh, say like with your left hand, you, for a month or two you put everything away with your left hand. You know, just do little little sneaky things like that to add in some uh, add in some some balance. You know what I mean? All right, so on to the deadlift. This is my favorite portion of the day. Because deadlift, you can just go raw dog all out after it. And that's what I love about the deadlift. Is that once you get in, settle in tight, man, you can just blast off and have a ball. All right, so here is the first of the 225s. And the cool thing about uh, him pulling, or him uh, benching 225 was that each rep got faster than the one before, and and uh, he's going to be a really good bench presser one day because uh, I think he's like five seven, five eight, and he's he's really built for bench pressing. You know, he's really really built for bench pressing. He's probably really built for uh, for sumo deadlift, which is something that I might want to uh, suggest to him. Um, but that's neither here nor there. We're just having a good time. And we're going to keep on having a good time. And here's my attempt at 405, which comes off very, very nicely. I have no problem with that.
Yep, so he's going to catch up to, uh, to, uh, to me. I'm going to take a, like a 12-minute break before I pull my 510 for three. And this was a pleasure to, uh, to go after. Nice. Couple of triple shots of the ammonia. Ooh, man, I got a good one on that one. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Stepping up to it, baby. Time to pull it. Is very nice. And I love it when the third one comes off faster than the second. That is a good sign. Yep. Gotta like that. Gotta like that, baby. Sir. And Tristan, he uh, he pulled a 405 here. And there's something he did that uh just it's not uh, it's not acceptable tell me if you can tell me what it is yeah you don't uh you don't go dumping the barbell like that that's it that's it you do it again and you set it down like a boss there you go all right guys this was a fun session talk to you later